today, you're connected more than ever. Your friends, your family, your life. Having a partner that understands banking is what you do on your time, anywhere you like. It's about being connected. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning, Northeast Mississippi. This is News Break for Thursday, November 24th. I am Brad Locke. Happy Thanksgiving and thanks for joining us here on News Break, which you can catch every weekday at 7 a.m. You can watch it at djournal.com, Facebook, YouTube, or the Daily Journal mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. Going to give you a quick update now on news, sports, and weather in Northeast Mississippi. Let's start with the weather underground forecast for today. Partly cloudy skies, high of 65 degrees, low of 41, just a 20% chance of rain. The three-day outlook, Friday, clear skies, high of 68, low of 38, 10% chance of rain. Saturday, clear skies again with a high of 62 and a low of 33, 10% chance of rain. And on Sunday, clear skies, high of 66, low of 45, and a 0% chance of rain. Let's take a look now at some of the top stories from your Daily Journal and djournal.com on this Thursday. The holiday shopping season officially begins today, with more than 137 million Americans expected to go shopping in stores or online over the next four days. Several local stores are open today, a day ahead of Black Friday. The mall at Barnes Crossing will open at 6 p.m., although several of its tenants will open earlier. JCPenney opens its doors at 3 p.m. and Belk at 4 p.m. Small businesses will get in on the big shopping weekend as well. Greatest Hits Music and Books is ready for Record Store Day Black Friday and Small Business Saturday. Now some folks prefer to wait until Friday to do their shopping while others like to get it out of the way. That's the approach of Cindy White who said that once she's eaten her Thanksgiving meal today, she and a couple of her female relatives will go shopping while they quote, let the boys watch football. The shopping will continue well past this weekend of course. The National Retail Federation expects retail sales in November and December to hit $655.8 billion, an increase of 3.6% over last year. And there won't be just more shoppers out on Black Friday, there will also be more police officers. According to Deputy Police Chief Alan Gilbert, the Tupelo Police Department will have an increased presence in patrols and will utilize reserve officers as well as the Special Operations Group. And starting Wednesday afternoon, uniformed officers on foot patrol were assigned to shopping areas and that will continue through Friday. Several stores also will hire off-duty officers in an effort to keep stores secure and make sure everyone remains calm during the frantic search for deals. Most of Friday's shopping frenzy will be focused around the mall at Barnes Crossing in Tupelo and surrounding retailers, but other areas will be drawing crowds. Gilbert said motorists should be patient and attentive, and also he urged shoppers to be aware of their surroundings and not to leave purchases in plain sight in their vehicles. A two-day workshop earlier this week taught attendees the ins and outs of being a sitter. The Safe Sitter Workshop was hosted by the North Mississippi Medical Center. Budding babysitters between the ages of 9 and 14 learned vital skills such as CPR and the Heimlich Maneuver, and they also learned how to compile a resource and reference list in case of emergencies. The program, which began nearly 20 years ago, offers classes each November and December, as well as in the summer. Safe Sitter Coordinator Connie Stewart said she has seen the class pay off in a big way. She gave an example of a young girl who used what she learned during the workshop to save the life of her baby sister, who choked on some food while the girl was watching her. Stewart said that over the years, the curriculum has changed a little to adapt to the times, especially in regards to technology. The next workshop will be held December 19th and 20th. Parents must pre-register to get a spot for their child by contacting Stewart at 662-377-7252. And in sports, the battle for the Golden Egg kicks off Saturday at Vaught Hemingway Stadium in Oxford with Ole Miss looking to make it three wins in a row over rival Mississippi State. A victory for the Rebels would make them bowl eligible, while the Bulldogs are looking to end a tough season on a high note. Kickoff is set for 2.30 p.m. and the game will be televised by the SEC Network. And on the high school scene, six Northeast Mississippi teams will be in action Friday in the state football semifinals. In Class 5A, West Point will host Lake Cormorant, a team it has already beaten once this season. In 4A, two area teams class from Pontotoc visits Lafayette. Two area teams also meet in the 2A semifinals with Baldwin visiting Calhoun City. And in 1A, Smithville 
will head to Simmons. Friday's winners advance to the state championships, which will be played next weekend at Mississippi State University. That's it for news break on this Thursday. We do want to remind you of the double coverage podcast that comes to you every week, uh, talking Ole Miss and Mississippi State sports with Parrish Alford and Logan Lowry. Usually it comes to you every Thursday this week with Thanksgiving. Uh, it will be uh, Friday when you can hear it. You can uh, listen for free in iTunes or podcast apps or at doublecoverage.djournal.com. And a reminder that there is no memo podcast from Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, all things Northeast Mississippi news and entertainment normally comes to you three days a week. We had just an episode on Monday this week. We'll be back next Monday, myself and W. Derek Russell. Be sure to uh, follow us on Twitter at DJournal now and give our Facebook page a like as well. And all the stories I talked about today you can find in your daily journal and at djournal.com. Also, no news break on Friday. We will be back on Monday. So until then, I'm Brad Locke. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend.